So it makes me feel like I'm still 21. <laughs> <laughs> Only up here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's getting close to that time. And all day, all last week, all this week, I'm saying to myself, Self, what are you going to say? Wow. And then I remembered a few things that my wife has told me through the years. And a couple of things that I've picked up along the way that is very similar to what she said. And she says, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try to. How do you wrap it all up? Well, it's been a great ride. 42 years. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. that I haven't seen in a while. All you alums. Oh, it's good to see you. Hi, Steph. <laughs> and, and Mr. Croft. And, and Krista and the whole club. Stuff going on in the tacky. Hey. And Julie and Wes and I don't know, oh, Vic and Jimmy and I don't know, I can't, the Ventos and all that club. If you're an alum, stand up. Please. and tons of people, great people, 
and I'm glad I took the advice of one of my other college profs who said in one of those wonderful methods classes, gentlemen and ladies, the first thing you do when you walk into that school on that first day is get to know the janitors and the secretaries. Make them your friends and you're in. Don't worry about the principals. They come and they go. But the secretaries and custodians are forever. Guess what? <laughs> that was great advice. And it has, has been a part of the wonderful experience here. Not to belittle, of course, the principals. Because we've had some good ones. And, well, you know, the other two. I can't say something nice, don't say it. We've had some, some really great people, though. Vice principals and all the administration. Um, they've, they've really been some, somehow, way, shape, or form behind the band. And that's been forever. Um, going way back, all the way through. The... Um, band staff. That's the kids staff. It used to be the band room squad and now it's the band student staff. Those kids that put in countless hours behind the scenes, making sure we had field charts and music copied, loading the instruments and unloading them, schlepping them from here, schlepping them from there. The logistics, the nightmare, the setting up of the stage and the sound shell, tearing it down. All that that we just couldn't do if we didn't have a well-oiled machine. When we've had region and all state bands and orchestras here that we've hosted, other directors couldn't get over the way these Clifton kids operated. How they could just turn on a dime and have the stage set from one group to another. I said, God, I can't get my kids to do it. What do you do? I said, well, I threaten them within an inch of their life, but <laughs> no, far from that. It's that whatever's inside them, that's their push-ups. No, no, we don't do push-ups. We, maybe we used to, but we can't do that anymore. No, no, Charlotte would frown. No, no, we, 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 see, brain power is oxygen, creates brain power. So push-ups. <laughs> Expand the lungs to help get more oxygen to the brain. The more oxygen to the brain, the harder they can stay on task. The longer on task, the better focused they are. And bada bing, we have the product that we get. But it's not for punishment, it's for physical enhancement. <laughs> Through the years, there have been some pretty good assistants. There are a couple that I forgot their names, but that's because they weren't very good assistants. <laughs> but we had some that were pretty fair. And, uh, really, kids got to know them and like them for a great deal of time. Um, let me see. My first assistant, Roger Brooks. Great man. Um, flute player. Can I say about Roger? Smooth cat, heck of a heck of a musician. And then he left Clifton to go on to another school district. And then I understand that Roger uh, left education and pursued a few other things. Uh, Frank Romaine. <laughs> Everybody knows Mr. Romaine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he was with us a long time too. We tried to get him to stay out on the roof up in Quebec one time. <laughs> Actually, the chaperones said, Frank, you have this, your, your duty watches the roof over here. Make sure they don't sneak out. I don't know where they were going to go, especially at 20 below zero. But <clears throat> they put Frank in his Patagonias and locked them out there. That was the chaperones, not the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Frank was with us for, for many, many years. Uh, Moving onward, we had Cassie Craig, who was our person in charge of uh, stretching and physical conditioning. And well, she's 
she was to know her, know her was to love her. Let's put it that way. Cassie was, she was the watchdog that they hired because one year the boys got a little bit too rambunctious up on the grass before practice started and they had this stupid game they used to play and unfortunately somebody got hurt. So we had to uh, have a duty watch and straighten things out. So Cassie was hired. Uh, she did a great job with the kids. My current crew, oh, then there was Emily Klein. Emily, you're here, so much. stand up, Emily. Yeah. She was also our color guard advisor for, gosh, many, many, many years. And she was also our resident RN. So anytime we went on a trip, we were covered. We had our, our medical expert with us all the time. Emmy did a great job, and we miss you terribly. <laughs> and uh, Emmy's now a grandma, and she's a mother-in-law, and soon to be a mother-in-law again. And... Uh, a great person. Um, on the instrumental side, I've got two guys that are uh, the frickin' frack of the team, I guess you would say. Or the Mutton Jeff? I don't know. Yeah, two, two unique guys. Um, Matt Brody, Matt Dugan. and uh, his term will be ending soon so uh, any of you alumni in there should be coming out joining the association get involved because it's a very active group the alumni uh, have uh, three or four scholarships and uh, they will be awarded on a night on June 12th uh, and they're a nice piece of change uh, they've been doing that for about 10 years now, and uh, it sure helps some kids. Um, my other assistant has been uh, around a couple of years now, uh, Donnie Lapuzzo. someone who came to help out at band camp, such as many other alums have done through the years. And my gosh, once school started, she stayed on with us. She finished out her senior year, went through her student teaching, and has uh, since landed a job right here teaching math at Clifton High School. So our associate uh, assistant, Miss Melissa Ayers.
seen this at a few meetings that uh, band can be a four-letter word. And we know it. But we've made a pact that we never talk about band at home. And we don't. There are things that go on. We don't, hey, what are you doing with me, Dreads? I don't know. What are you doing with the band? I don't know. Are they going to be here? Yeah. Well, you want them? Yeah. But we don't talk band at home. Uh, and I guess it's a good thing. And it's a good thing that she was part of the band, too, because for so many years, it, uh, you know, it's all consuming. There have been those late nights and the meetings and the rehearsals and everything else that goes on that take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and, you know, a lot of back, back, back door things that so many people just don't know, the logistics and whatever. And it was always nice to know that Michelle was there. Sometimes with a smile, sometimes with a look. <laughs> but I knew she was there. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Joe, and so many others. Many, many to thank. I'm sure I missed a few. Say what? Oh, gosh. How could I? I'm oh, sorry. How could I forget? Yeah. pharmaceutical specialist <laughs> and of course you know love and marriage does make Olivia and uh, so that that kind of changed things around as far as Lauren and the, the pecking order here so we don't know what's happening it's up in the air and well whatever will be will be and I'm going to keep it simple right there okay so our staff current past all the uh, find faculty people I've worked with through the years. I looked through a yearbook just last week and said, damn, I'm the only one still here. <laughs> I must be nuts. I think it was the class of 75, but you know. So anyhow, enough. Uh, thank you for coming and supporting all the kids. We have a gig coming up on Monday. Don't forget the Memorial Day Parade down at uh, Owood Road to Chelsea Park, the ceremony at the park, then the shoot over to uh, Main Memorial for the, uh, the big town Memorial Day service. And uh, then we've got a few scattered around. Saturday, I understand uh, there is a car wash. Parents, I'm going to have one of those uh, meetings with you, <clears throat> but we won't go into that tonight. It would have been nice had you told me, but uh, it's a good thing I'm in good with the custodians. <laughs> and uh, so car wash, cheap at half the price, and don't forget, they vacuum the inside. And there's some guys out there, how many of you were at the first bunch of car washes? You know, when I used to come and help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough. Uh, it's been a delight. Thank you for coming. And we'd like to finish out with our traditional... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah?
is have always been really frustrating, but we want you to know that we appreciate you just as much as you appreciate us and the band. And we want to thank you for all of that. So we hope you have a very happy retirement, and we will miss you. Do you ever think that was going to happen? No. See, you got to believe. 